All right, the blog post for week seven, complete the tools, time, and rooms blog post. So in the week seven folder, you'll find a link here. You'll also find a link to this video. Hey, you're watching it right now. So you have the overview, which gives you a quick rundown, and then the instructions. Copy and paste this post. We click this link and it'll take us to it. Follow the directions in the post. Delete all of Mr. LeDuc's instructions that are placed in the post, then publish your post. So if I click this link, click pretend like I did. It will take me over here to this. And then what I do is I copy the whole thing. Woo! Whoa, not all that. Wah, right there. Okay, copy that. And then I'll go over to, oh, that's nice. <laughs> I'm making a new blog post. <clears throat> Imagine I just logged into my blog. There we go. So I paste right down here. I just did Command V or Control V as in Victor. Or you can go up to the Edit Paste option. And the whole thing comes in here. Now, I want to take this out of here and put this as the title. Okay. And I want to delete this. Hey, you want to see a cool trick? If you go into here and... You take this stuff out, it'll go like that, and it'll put it right at the top. And then you can follow the, the directions here. Write your weekly summary here last, at the end of the week. Only one to two sentences, and then delete all my stuff, okay? You're going to leave the headings. In the practice room, set a timer, 15 minutes, and what I want you to do is, if you haven't picked an editor for film editing at home, uh, please do so. And uh, this was a video showing you five different software programs that are free. Um, but again, see what works best with your computer at home, whether it's a Chromebook, Mac, or Windows box. Find a, Then find a YouTube playlist, a channel that has a nice playlist for tutorials for that particular tool, and put that in here. I want you to link to that list and write a brief description about that particular channel and playlist because we want to compare resources to see what's going to work well. And I have a bunch of stuff, but I want to see what you find. Then delete this whole thing when you're done. Uh, delete all my directions, but leave your content. Uh, again, leave the headings. You can leave this image here if you want. I'd like you to complete this level in sneak on the lot. So you click here, log into your account at sneak on the lot, follow the directions for the um, first time user exercises. And I'm allocating 60 minutes, but you know, you should be done with it. You shouldn't need all that time. Uh, but then delete all my directions and write a brief description here with how it went. And moving on to the lab. Um, if you need extra time, I've just combined this time in there. And then you can just delete this whole section. So when I say delete the whole section, just wipe this out because there's nothing we're going to write in it. Then I want you to go outside and I want you to spend at least 15 minutes. If you can safely go outside, go for a walk. Think about your life as a narrative for today. Uh, a narrative is an ongoing story. What is the story of today? You are the protagonist. What or who is your nemesis? Are you trying to win or accomplish something? What? Write notes about it here and what you thought uh, about this, okay? And, and then you can experiment with your blog if you want as, as well. The blog's kind of cool. You can mess around with that and then delete all my stuff. And just remember, documenting stuff about our daily lives helps us build stories, films down the road. Uh, what you pull, uh, whatever information from your life you pull from uh, or experiences, that is gonna be more helpful because honest stories are better stories. And we want to start with stuff we know. Then down here, click on this link right here and uh, fill out the survey. And the survey is pretty simple. Um, I'm just going to click on it because I want you to see it. Okay, email address. Zoom. Boom. Class period, I'll say first. And there's me. Then I click next. How was the, the content of this week? What did you think of the content? And then you can write something here. Then next, what did you think of the process of this week? I'm a little biased here, you know. And then hit submit. That's it. And that is it for this week's blog post.